The government of St. Lucia amidst increasing cases of COVID-19 in country has implemented stricter measures to prevent and control the spread of the virus. These measures include a state of emergency which came into effect on Wednesday, 3rd February 2021 for an initial period of seven days, allowing for the further restriction of movement with a curfew from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. from Wednesday, 3rd February as well. Additionally, only essential services will be allowed to operate during this period. The St. Lucia Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture has thrown its support behind the government of St. Lucia. Karen Peter is the president of the St. Lucia Chamber of Commerce. Based on our consultation and information at our disposal, the St. Lucia Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture wishes to indicate that we support the implementation by government of additional and more stringent restrictions on movement of citizens for a stated period to control and minimize the spread of the COVID-19 virus. The Chamber supports the extension and further limiting of non-essential commercial activity during that period aimed at limiting non-essential movement of people. We also look forward to more assertive police enforcement of all law related to the COVID-19 virus. We are equally convinced that if proper implemented and recommended protocols faithfully followed, this will be in the best long-term interest of business, citizens, and the economy. The president notes that despite the negative impact on the business community, the health and well-being of the public remain paramount. Our members recognize the invaluable contribution of their team members to the success of their businesses. Our members also understand that the safety and well-being of team members and customers must remain in the forefront. Thus, we wish to say that we support the steps being taken by the government to address the backlog in testing and provision of results to persons. We note the efforts to procure a technician from Trinidad and Tobago to make additional equipment functional. The hiring of additional administrative staff to support the work of the lab and the decision to divert testing for tourists to private labs thus easing pressure on the public facilities and we must continue to look for ways to improve this even further wherever possible. President of the St. Lucia Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture, Karen Peter.